What's up guys, today we're gonna be learning the Ronaldinho catch and we're starting right now. What's up guys, Coach Jerry here from Ankle Breaker Soccer. Today we're gonna break down how to catch the ball with your chest, a little bit of a freestyle uh, trick if you will. If you like videos like this and you wanna see some more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that little notifications so you don't miss a thing. We're gonna start very simple. We're gonna start with the mechanics of how to actually keep the ball in the chest, right? So in order to do that, we gotta create a little gap in between the shoulder and the chest, right? So the, the ball is gonna sit on this little gap, okay? So by extending the arm coming in here, you can actually feel that little gap between your shoulder and your chest, right? So it's this little gap that sits in, right? Some players do it directly in the middle of their chest, it's the same concept. They'll bring their arms up, right, to create this little cradle in here, right? A little gap in between the two pecs right in the chest, right? I like to use the shoulder in between the shoulder and the chest to create this gap, okay? So the first concept is, after you've done that, is bringing down the ball. Imagine catching a ball, right? You wanna come down with the ball, same idea. Our body's gonna come down with the ball once we've created this little cradle in between, okay? We're gonna start very simple, small little toss, creating that little little gap or that little crease in between the chest and the shoulder, trying to go and catch the ball, okay? So right now, as the ball is coming, right, I'm leaning back and bringing the ball down with me, right? If you're doing it with your foot, it's the same mechanics, right? If you do this one, it's the same thing, right? It's the same thing, you're coming down with the ball. So as the ball is coming down, you're helping it to stop. So if my chest is just stationary, the ball will never stay there, right? It's always gonna bounce off, right? So my body's stationary. As I start to come down with the ball, the ball will, will stay there, right? So now, right? So that, that's the first way to begin. Nice and simple, right? Find a way to keep it in there. Right? Now, as the ball comes in, you can pop it out, start popping it out, right? Because then after you have this down, you want to start popping it back out, okay? So again, from the side, a little bit closer. All right, here, come down. Notice the arm, arm is always out, not too much. But remember, arm is out. Right, to create that little crease or cradle in between, right? So the chest is not popping out, it's coming in, right? So this is where the ball is gonna sit. Once you get comfortable with this, okay, you can start throwing it a little bit higher. Now, if you choose to do that little backspin, right, it's a little bit easier for the ball to stay there, right? Backspin, the ball will stay, it'll grab, it'll grab on, right? If, it's, if there's no spin, it's a little bit harder, not that much, right? But I prefer that little spin. So keep that in mind when you're juggling. As you start to juggle, you create a little bit of backspin on the ball. It will help you, right, keep that ball in there. Right? Notice as the ball is coming, I lean down or I go down with the ball. Bend the knees, right? Keep your body in line. You don't have to go all the way down, all right? It's just a little bit, okay? Okay, the main idea is to get the, the mechanics of the move down, right? One, remember, cradle, make that little gap, that little cradle. You create the cradle by, right, getting that shoulder out. That means your arm is out, the shoulder's back. Create that cradle. That's the first thing. You gotta learn how to create that cradle there or here, right? or on the left side, depending if you're left-handed, okay? Then, right, very, very small, small tosses. Try to keep the ball in there. Face the ball, look at the ball. You want it to stay in that cradle, get comfortable, right? You get more comfortable, the ball will stay, right? A little bit more, okay? Okay, the third one, remember, after it's in here, Pop that shoulder out and the ball will pop out with it, yeah? A lot of freestylers like to do from this one, they like to go right away into the back one.
Now from the hands, you can go a little bit higher, same thing, little by little. All right, include that backspin. So when it's higher, we gotta prepare the body a little bit more. So as the ball is coming down, my legs spread out, right? And I cushion the landing of the ball in that little cradle that we talked about. Yeah. All right, so both feet, both legs spread out at the same time. A little bit of bend on the knee, bend on a little bit on the waist. But the most important thing is gonna be this cradle. Now, is it done in a game? Absolutely. Has it been done in a game before? Absolutely. Ronaldinho's done it in La Liga, right? And everywhere he's played, I guess. And then you got Falcao in futsal, uh, beach soccer, I've seen it, right? So definitely a move that you can apply in a game. And it also looks good when you're freestyling, all right? Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you want to see next. Comment below, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.